In this video, we're gonna tear down these smart bathroom scales to try and understand a bit about how they work and show you why this set were broken when I got them. Before we start, I should explain that these are no ordinary bathroom scales. Not only do they measure your weight, they also estimate body fat percentage, heart rate, air quality, and they upload all of this to a smartphone app. So I'm quite curious to see what's inside. To get into the scales, we have to remove the glass top, which is held down using four large adhesive pads. So I'm using a hot air gun on a low setting to soften the adhesive and then gently prising the surfaces apart with this plastic tool. This process takes a little time, but it's just a case of working around each corner of the scales in turn. I've got the glass top free now, but there's several wires which are connecting the glass top to the base underneath. The connections for these are hidden under this metal cap, which is held down with yet more adhesive. The metal cap is connected to a wire which is soldered directly onto the circuit board underneath, so I've had to unsolder this in order to remove it. Finally, there are four conductive areas on the glass which are used for the body fat measurement, and these are connected to the circuit board using these small clips which can be popped off with a screwdriver. With all of this stuff disconnected, the glass surface now finally comes away easily. Inside, the main PCB is held down with a couple of screws and some more adhesive underneath to hold it down to the plastic base. With the main PCB finally free, we get our first glimpse of why these scales didn't work when I got them. They've clearly been flooded at some point and the whole bottom of the circuit board has started to corrode away. So taking a look at the main PCB, the core of it is this Kinetis K20 uh, processor here, which is handling all the inputs from sensors and driving the display. It's an ARM Cortex M4, um, which is uh, connected up some external flash memory here and a 32 kilohertz oscillator, which I guess is for the, the real time clock. Uh, the weight measurement comes in through a set of load cells, one in each corner, which feed in down on these pins here and then run through, I guess, some filtering and some switching uh, and there's an amplifier here. The load cells are left switched off most of the time and they only come on every couple of seconds just to see whether there's any weight present uh, and everything's powered down sort of the rest of the time. The display connects up through this connector here. Uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are handled through this chip here, um, which is connected up to a an inverted F um, PCB mount antenna through some balancing components. Uh, these two are the crystals for that part and there's some power supply components over here as well. Uh, I don't recognize this part number so if anybody knows what this is it'd be interesting to hear from you in the comments. Over to the right of the board I think we have the air quality monitoring system which appears to use a couple of LEDs and a photodiode to infer the amount of light that gets uh, absorbed by CO2 by using some optical filtering uh, and a photodiode that then passes into this op-amp over here. Um, further down the board there's also a barometric pressure sensor uh, and some more amplifiers which I think is barometric pressures must be used in the, the uh, kind of weather monitoring type functions. The body fat measurement relies on an impedance measurement technique which uh, uses conductive surfaces on the glass on the top of the scales which connect in through these connectors here and route down through each of these four inductors, uh, then through a, another analog chain of, these are some TI op amps that ultimately route um, through a, a sequence of amplifiers back eventually to uh, another analog input on the Freescale. Finally, there are a couple of capacitive touch buttons here and here, which you can activate from the outside of the product. So you can enable pairing or switch units and things through some capacitive buttons, which just run directly into the, the Freescale processor. To get these scales working again, I first cleaned both sides of the board thoroughly with some isopropyl alcohol. I then tracked down places where the corrosion had eaten all the way through the copper connections, like on this pad here, and then remade the connections using short wire links. With the connections fixed, the scales came back to life and are working great. I hope you found this video interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one.